Feeling like a rock star, here's how Post Malone made it to the top. Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Popping Luxury. From Texas to Los Angeles. Born in 1995, Post Malone was raised by his father, Rich Post, and his stepmother. His father, being a disc jockey, was the first to introduce a young Post Malone to the various genres of music like hip-hop, rock, and country. He moved to Texas at the age of nine after his father was offered a position as a concession manager at the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. He learned to play the guitar at the age of 15 after watching the Guitar Hero video, as noted by the famous people. The same year, he auditioned for a rock band in Texas, but was rejected. While he attended community college, Post Malone worked at Ticket Express, but not for long. He moved to Los Angeles soon after to establish his career. In 2015, Post Malone wrote the song White Averson in his small LA apartment when he didn't even have enough money to buy a pack of cigarettes. After the song was released, it hit more than 1 million views, and he gained some popularity in the music industry, which led to his deal with Republic Records. He met Kanye West when he performed at Kylie Jenner's 18th birthday party and impressed West with his performance. West asked Post Malone to collaborate on a single, Fade, which led to further features with Young Thug and 50 Cent. In 2016, he went on tour with Justin Bieber during his Purpose era and performed opening acts worldwide. His first album, Stony, was released in 2016, which debuted at number 6 on US Billboard 200. As mentioned by Billboard, his second album, Beer Bongs and Bentleys, was an even bigger hit, and his single, Rockstar, debuted at number 1 on the Billboard charts and even retained the position for 8 consecutive weeks. Dubbed as the Donald Trump of hip-hop by his record label executive, Post Malone has not only faced a round of controversies, but has also struggled with mental issues over the years. The Other Side of Fame Post Malone has been part of controversies for a while, being a white rapper and being a rich kid who bought his way into music. However, Malone has refused such claims over time. Coming from a humble family background, he never had a luxurious life growing up. While these controversies would usually kill the person's career, Malone has only received more success, which is often compared to Donald Trump's presidency tenure. Apart from the public issues, Post Malone has always grappled with the ability to overcome his insecurities. His face tattoos have always been the talk of town, and while they seem like a reckless choice, Post Malone claims to have those tattoos because he doesn't like his face. His tattoos reflect his mental health struggles, his muses, his history, as stated by Men's Health. The artist has also faked anxiety issues from his teens and suffered a marijuana-induced anxiety attack, which he no longer smokes. After the death of his good friend Juice World, Mac Miller, and Lil Peep due to drugs, Post Malone has become more aware of his mental struggles and has taken medical attention. Since middle school, he claims to have had anxiety issues when he would cry himself to sleep every night. While he overcomes his issues, Malone hasn't shown away from his music and has continually produced hard-selling albums. An Uphill Climb His 2019 album, Hollywood's Bleeding, debuted right at the number one position with six successful singles. Apart from his music career, Post Malone has had an average interest in business. According to The Hollywood Reporter, he bought a portion of an equity stake in Envy Gaming, a sports organization. Being an avid gamer and from Texas, he invested in the Dallas-based company and announced his involvement in 2020, before the Call of Duty League began. He also launched his line of rose wine called Mason No. 9, which he heavily promotes on his social media handles. The newest venture that Post Malone is trying to promote is his own sports league for beer pong. While the artist has filed a petition with the Trademark and Patent Office in the United States, the league is supposed to have tournaments, competitions, and exhibitions involving beer pong. A man of many eclectic tastes, Post Malone has faced a few minor roadblocks in his path to success. Post Malone has gained success while openly discussing his struggles in the music industry, from his first single that made him famous to his ever-growing fan base. Despite the myriads of troubles, he has managed to create the best head-bopping pop anthems. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.